Hi, this is Dow Too Fast here. In this video, I will be making a dust collector for my shop vac. And this dust collector will allow me to collect all the sawdust when I'm using my table saw. Now, if you have never seen or heard of a dust collector, it's really cool how it works. Basically, you put the device in line between your shop vac and your table saw. All the sawdust will be sucked into the dust collector instead of going into your shop vac. The benefit of doing this is so you don't have to clog up the filter that's in your shop vac. So I stopped by at Home Depot this morning and picked up some supplies. To do this project, the cost will vary depending on what supplies you already have at home. And for me, I had to pick up most of the stuff because I needed a second hose to connect the table saw to the dust collector. Also, I picked up some PVC pipe uh, that you see on the table and I'll be using that to interconnect all the pieces together. That orange bucket is from Home Depot. Now they sell the lid and the bucket separately. The bucket is about $3 and the lid is about $2. So you spend about $5 for that bucket and lid. Uh, with the rigid hose kit I have here, that one is about $18. And the miscellaneous PVC pipe and coupling cost me about $10. Now this build will require a couple of pieces of wood, which I'll be cutting up later on and I'll be using scraps of leftover wood I already have. So I roughly spent about $35 uh, for all the supplies here. If you don't want to build one, you can buy one online. Uh, I believe Amazon sells it. It's called the Dust Deputy. It's a funnel shaped plastic molded piece with inlets and outlets for hooking up to your tool and vacuum cleaner. And that piece alone goes for around $52 on Amazon. Now it does not include the bucket. If you want to get the Dust Deputy with the bucket, I believe that goes for around $100. So there's significant saving if you do it yourself. So let's get started and I'll show you how I'm going to do this. This is the Rigid Universal Hose Kit uh, VT1720. And let me open this up and I'll show you what's inside. There's a 7 foot hose that comes with it and a couple of adapters. Here I have a piece of half inch MDF wood and the first thing I need to do is cut a circle out that will be installed on top of the lid right here because in the center of the lid there will be a pipe going down that will be connected to the vacuum cleaner and if you don't have a piece of wood this top lid is going to flex too much. So we need that piece of wood for reinforcement. I've cut one already and I've decided to cut another one and I'm going to sandwich the lid between these two pieces. I think that will give it extra reinforcement. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to cut this other piece. So here I've drawn the hole that I need to cut for the PVC pipe to go through. And I'll be using a jigsaw right here to do the cutting. After cutting the hole in the wood, cut the same diameter hole for the PVC in the plastic lid. So I've gone ahead and cut this piece. This is about 7 inch long. To assemble the lid, I have a top piece here and a bottom piece. Also, I rounded off the edge using a router just to give it a cleaner look. So I've gone ahead and took it apart to get it ready for the screws. I have marked off the eight different holes I need to drill. Now because I have a piece of wood on top and bottom, I will be using these type of screws to hold the two pieces together. Now some of the videos on YouTube show people using nuts and bolts. That's because they only have one piece of wood. So they need the nuts and bolts to clamp the lid and the one piece of wood together. Before screwing the two pieces together, I'm going to use some silicone and apply a bead on both sides to make sure it's airtight and then later on I'll also apply a bead of silicone at the bottom side where the PVC pipe comes out.
Let me show you something about these Home Depot buckets that are really nice. The top lid in this groove, there is a rubber gasket they installed and it gives you a nice perfect seal when you close this lid onto the bucket. So the next thing I need to do is get this pipe into the bucket at an angle and I'll cut it off at about right here and then I'm going to use a heat gun to soften this edge and then fit this hose into this pipe here. I use my table saw to cut the length of the PVC and then also cut this at an angle. This is going to go inside the bucket. Now you can use a miter saw if you have one but just be careful, take your time, go slow and it's very easy to cut. Now we need to cut the hole to slip this PVC pipe inside. Now the angle makes it difficult to cut just a round circle. You can use the other piece that we cut earlier and then place it right here and that will give you an idea the oval shape that you need to trace out and cut. So I use the jigsaw to cut the hole a little smaller. I'm going to file it down so that the fit will be perfect. Here's what the pipe looked like in the bucket. Right now I'm using a heat gun to soften the end on the PVC pipe and I'll form fit it onto this hose here. So after about maybe five minutes, you can kind of test it. Don't touch it of course, but see how soft right there? I'll heat this a little bit more and I should be able to form this over the hose. I'm going to spray a little bit of compressed air on it, cool it down. Now you can see it's form fitted to this hose. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up this tip here. I'm going to bend this this way to curve it. So when the sawdust comes into the bucket, it's going to direct it downwards. I cut this piece of wood and I'll be using it as a brace to mount the PVC pipe to the side of the bucket like this. So here's what it looks like with the brace installed. It's very solid, it doesn't move. Here's a look from the other side. Now I will apply a bead of silicone to seal this up. Okay, let's see how effective this dust collector is. As you can see, inside the dust collector is clean. Also in my shop vac, it's clean. So I'm going to put the filter and cover back on the shop vac. Now I'm going to place the lid onto the dust collector. Make sure it's sealed. Now we'll connect the shop back to the dust collector. So here are some sawdust from this project. Let me turn on the shop back. Now if this works, all the sawdust should be in the dust collector and not in the shop vac. So let's open this up.
As you can see, everything we vacuum is in here. Now let's look at the shop vac. It's clean. Now that this project is complete, I want to take a minute to go over the dimension of some of the pieces that I cut. The top piece of wood that I cut here is about seven and a half inch in diameter. It doesn't have to be exact, but I wanted to make something wide enough so that when the vacuum is on, it doesn't cause the lid to collapse. If I open this up, the pipe that extends down is about four inch right here. As for the length of this pipe right here, it measures around nine inch. Now you might have it a little bit longer depending on the attachment you have. As for how far down this pipe is, if I measure the brace, it's just under four inch. And from the top of the pipe, it measures around three inch. When I installed this pipe, I did angle it down a bit so when the sawdust or debris comes in, it will be aimed downwards and have it settle to the bottom of the bucket. As for the length of the pipe inside the bucket, it's kind of hard to measure because this is slanted, but if I had to guess, this is between 6 and 7 inches. Many of the design you'll find on YouTube or the internet will have this pipe going straight up and you attach the vacuum hose to the top here. I got this 90 degree elbow here so that the vacuum hose will be connected horizontally instead of vertically and that way it will have lesser chance of this tipping over. Well I hope you enjoy watching this video on making your own dust collector for your shop or garage. Seeing the result I got from the earlier test definitely worth the time that I spent making this. Of course one of the main benefit of using a dust collector like this is that your shop vac is now kept clean. You don't have to worry about replacing the filters or getting it clogged. Also some of you might be using bags in your shop vac. With this setup you don't have to replace those bags anymore. The overall cost I spent on this project is about $35. 20 of that went into the hose kit that to buy. If you already have an extra hose at home then you can save yourself that money. One additional thing I want to mention before ending the video is if you start researching this on YouTube or internet you might come upon a dust collector where people call it a theme baffle dust collector. What that is, is inside the dust collector, they added an additional baffle in the middle of the chamber with a slot cut out to allow the dust to go to the bottom of the bucket and it prevents the debris and the dust to come back up to be sucked up. So it makes it much more efficient. But as you can see with this one I did, it's very effective. So if you find this design to work well for your setup, then really there's no need to add the additional theme baffle inside the dust collector. Anyways, I hope you find this video to be helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section. And don't forget to click on the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.